Imagine this, downloading 150 high definition films in just a single second. Sounds unreal, right? Well, that's how fast China has got its internet game. So after some trials kicking off in July, China announced to have built world's fastest internet network with a bandwidth of whopping 1.2 terabits per second. Yes, you heard that right. 1.2 terabits per second or 1200 gigabits per second. Now, who is the genius behind this tech advancement you ask? It's none other than Huawei Technologies teaming up with China Mobile Limited, a big short state owned carrier. And guess what? They have got Tsinghua University, the alma mater of Chinese President Xi Jinping and the research providers at cernet.com on board too. Together they built this 3000 km internet network linking Beijing to the south. Now most of the world's internet backbone networks run at a fraction of the speed. Usually just 100 gigabits per second. Even the US with its swanky 5th gen internet too maxes out at 400 gigabits per second. Hold up though. Don't mix these internet backbone networks with your regular local internet setup. Picture the internet as the giant web connecting us all. The backbone, think of it as the strongest, thickest threads in that web. Now these are the ultra fast communication lines made up of fiber optic cables and other connections transferring data between cities and countries, much like the main highways and roads. Ever wondered how most international internet traffic zips around? Well, over 400 cables run along the ocean floor, ferrying more than 95% of that global data, according to the telegeography folks. According to the South China Morning Post, China's internet speed surpasses most existing major internet routes by more than tenfold. But hey, despite this internet speed bonanza, China's great firewall isn't backing down. It is still playing gatekeeper, keeping Chinese netizens from tapping into Facebook, Google, Instagram, Wikipedia, and even our beloved ChatGPT. Tough luck there, right? For more such news, views, and insights, follow and subscribe to Business Standard.